I was there 3,000 years ago. When the devs of Hell That Loose announced that the Eastern Front would be released on the consoles. Well, it looks like it's finally time. From tomorrow, May 17th, the console versions of Hell That Loose will finally be a lot closer to the PC version. A huge update will come out that includes new maps, new weapons, a new faction and tons of other updates. I thought I'd make a quick video for everyone who missed this news. So first of all, two new maps will be released. The first is Stalingrad, which everyone of course knows as the city that became a turning point in the war. And it is a map that I personally really love. It's a huge urban map with lots of destroyed buildings, rubble and some high rise buildings where you can hide. It's very atmospheric and if you want to have a good impression of it, you can check out this video I made. So it's definitely one of my favorite maps and I'm happy for you guys that it's finally coming to console. The second map is Kursk, which is very different. While Stalingrad is very urban, lots of buildings, the Kursk map is actually very open and it's popular for armored engagement. Judging from the reactions in the community though, it's not the most popular as there's not many places to hide. And you know, Elder Loose is already a game where you just get shot in the face from across an open field and this map actually makes that <laughs> even more common. However, I do really like it myself because of the atmosphere and also the visuals of the map. And if you'd like to have a good impression of this map, you could check out this other video I made. And not only new Soviet maps will be added, but there will be some changes to existing maps as well. So saint marie de mont for example, will be updated and the old version will be removed. Uh, there's actually a, a version 2, if you will, on PC and it changes a couple of things. And this will basically mean that the saint marie de mont map on the consoles will be the same one as on PC. And additionally, Foy, Hill 400, Purple Heart Lane and Carantan will be getting German offensive mode. Apart from the new maps, the new update will also include the Soviet Union as a faction. This means that a lot of new weapons and vehicles will be added. Classic Soviet weapons such as the Mosin Agant and PPSH will be added. It's also interesting to note that the Soviet anti-tank weapon is not a launcher like the German and the US factions, but it's actually an anti-tank rifle. New vehicles on the Soviet side include the T-34 medium tank, an IS-1 heavy tank and of course some different trucks. Uh, you can see the list here on the screen. And the Soviet faction will also not have a bombing run available as a commander ability like the other factions, but it will have a Katyusha strike, which is a really cool looking rocket barrage. And by the way, there are not only Soviet weapons being added, but the update also includes content from later PC updates. This means a shotgun will be added for the US and the FG-42 for the Germans, which is kind of like an assault rifle style weapon that the German paratroopers used. It's interesting to note that new non-Soviet vehicles will be added as well. So the German Panther tank will for example be replaced by the Panzer IV medium tank. And the update will also include the half tracks that the PC version currently has. Even though the PC version will be featuring weaponized half tracks soon, uh, these will not have any weaponry in this update, I believe. So apart from the new maps, vehicles and weapons, the update will also change up the loadouts. As you can see in the screen, some new ones were added and others shuffled around. And finally, there will be a whole bunch of bug fixes and small tweaks to make it up to par with the PC version. So hopefully there won't be too many problems and bugs introduced with the new patch. Because you never know. And I know you guys who play this on console have been waiting for this for a long time. So hopefully it will make it worth the wait. And I'm curious to know how you guys will experience it. So let me know in the comments. Anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick heads up. Have a nice start of the week and see you in the next video.